Wow, what a horrific day for Odessa, Ector County, Millen, Millen County. Um, let's start at the beginning. Um, situation started about 3.17 this afternoon when a DPS trooper attempted to stop a gold Honda. Um, when the DPS troopers got the car stopped, he was then shot by the occupant of the car. The vehicle continued westbound into uh, the city of Odessa and um, shot an individual at I-20 in our west loop, excuse me, our east loop. Apparently, uh, the subject then drove on our east loop to 42nd Street where there were multiple scenes and multiple victims. Um, at some point, the subject stole a mail truck, ditched his car, and there were other victims after that. The victim then went eastbound back on 42nd towards Synergy, which is a local movie theater, and at that point was contacted by law enforcement, by officers from uh, the Odessa Police Department, the Midland Police Department, the Texas Department of Public Safety, and, and I'm sure others. Again, this is a very fluid, changing situation. So please understand that what I'm telling you is, is not written in stone. Um, these, these facts, these, this knowledge can change. Okay? At that point, this subject was contacted by law enforcement, and um, he, an exchange of gunfire happened, and that subject is deceased at that location. We have law enforcement injured. We have the DPS trooper in Midland County. We have one MPD officer and one OPD officer that were struck. Um, as far as civilian casualties, we have at least 21 victims, 21 shooting victims, and at least five deceased at this point in time. Please understand that this is not just an OPD and a Midland Police Department and a DPS thing. The, both Sheriff's Office, Midland County Sheriff's Office and Edgar County Sheriff's Office was involved in the, in the hunt for this guy. Um, our local school district police department, our University of uh, the Texas of the Permian Basin School, uh, uh, excuse me, police department was involved. This was a joint effort by just a multitude of, of departments to find this animal and bring him to justice. Um, at this point, I'll take questions. Has the suspect been identified? Right now, I'll, I'll tell you that he is a white male in his mid-30s. Uh, I don't have a positive identification on him, yet I have an idea who he is, so I won't release that information until we're absolutely positive. Are, are there any current active shooters going on at this time? We, we have, we've had calls, which is to be expected, um, because obviously our citizens are, are a little jumpy after this, which is also to be expected. Um, but at, once this um, individual uh, was taken out of the picture, there have been no more victims. Is there a reason to believe that there is a second suspect that is on the loose? Um, I, there have been reports that that's possible, but again, there have been no, no confirmations of that. Any updates on the conditions of the other people that were shot but are still alive? I, I, can't, I can't tell you that right now. And, and, you know, the big thing is it's so chaotic still at the local hospitals that it's very difficult to get that information. A lot of people on Facebook are searching for family members who they probably are not able to get a hold of. Um, what's the idea and behind that and how they can keep in contact with the hospital and other law enforcement? Well, um, again, once we are able to compile a list of victims' names, we, we can absolutely put that out. Um, also, I'm sorry, the hospital has set up an area for patients' families. Medical Center Hospital has set up an area for patients' families in the cafeteria, and they do have health chaplains on staff. Um, so we got reports of two vehicles earlier today. Um, what, I guess, is that not confirmed? I think what the issue with that was that you had the, the original vehicle and then you had the mail truck. Um, at one point, we didn't know that that was the same person, but that is confirmed now, same person. Anything else? Do we know what kind of firearm was used? Was it a gun? Was it a shotgun? Obviously, it was a gun. Um, at, at this point, I'm really not sure. And then how did the incident begin? Again, it, it started with the traffic stop, the attempted okay. traffic stop by the UPS. 
uh, precautions for the pub general public? You know, I would I would tell people to still be cautious, still try to stay in their residences if, if all possible. Uh, we do believe that we have the threat contained, but I can't be 1,000% positive that that's the case at this point. It might be way too early to tell, but any motives that you guys are? No, no, absolutely. I, I can't tell you of a motive at this point. Do you know what the traffic stop was for? I do not. Do you know what happened to the, po the postal employee that... I guess their truck was hijacked. At this point, I I'm, I don't know. I, I would assume that he's he's part of the victim list, but I'm not sure of his status. I saw an ECISD uh, bus going down 191. Are you guys using the school transportation to help the victims or patients or anything like that? Um, not to my knowledge. No. Okay. okay. Right. Thank you, guys. We're gonna go back to work, and we will we will. Update you periodically, okay? Uh, I just want to make sure I have have my uh, facts right. Is that okay if I just Same ask you more EMS. questions? EMS. Same question that you can yeah, I mean, do you want do you want to chip an EMS? This is please. Mike Gerke. 20, uh, Mike Gerke? Gerke. 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 It's called G E R K E. It's Gerke. Gerke. Yes. Thank you, sir. Do you want to give an EMS? Update? Sure. I, I, okay, I don't mind. Alvarez is going to give an EMS update if you guys would like him to. Oh, I'm sorry. Wait. <laughs> I'm all wrapped. Chief, sorry about the name. Oh, Chief, I think you're good. Oh, what am I? I don't know. I think. I have no idea. Well, I'm not gotten it. Oh, we got it. Thank you. Okay, good. Sorry, I had to bend down with my. John Alvarez, yeah. testing one, yeah, two, three. Okay, so I, when you texted me, I was like, okay, I got to see you up. But I, I'm going. Hmm. Oh. Sorry. Look at you. <laughs> Not my equipment. <laughs> I'm ready to go. Is everyone ready? Yep. Mm -hmm. Could you just start telling your first and last name and please spell it? John Alvarez, J O H N A L V A R E Z, Fire Chief, Odessa Fire Rescue. Uh, how many victims uh, can we confirm so far? Well, so far we've got 21 victims that were uh, transported to uh, either medical center or RMC. Uh, we've ha also had some that were transported to Middle Memorial Hospital, so uh, that that that's the count at this point. Okay. Now, for families out there that are worried about their loved ones, what is their next step? How can they find out uh, more information about their family member? Sure. As our our PIA, public information officer said, that once we get that information, once we get a list, then we'll be be able to put that information out to the public to to be able to reach out to the loved ones. All those that were wounded are those gunshot victims. Uh, some were yes. For the most part, there were gunshot victims, unfortunately. We did have, uh, the count right now is five deceased, uh, according to the, the reports that I have received. So that's where we're at at this point. Um, did, I guess, did it start in Midland and then travel west? That is my understanding. I mean, I'm not, not law enforcement, but that's, that's the understanding that I have is that it, it did move from Midland to Odessa. And unfortunately, we did have some casualties here. Is there anything that the residents of, the, of this community can do, like giving blood, plasma, any type of thing? Well, it's too early to say right now at this point, but I, I can tell you that right now it's just, you know, just shelter in place right now. I'm, I'm sure the, the police department has sent out that message to the community to make sure that everybody's aware of what's going on at this point. Do we know how many um, are in Odessa hospitals or how many are in Midland hospitals or does that count? That, that count, we're just trying to figure that out at this point. But I can tell you that we've notified Medical Center Hospital. We've also notified uh, Odessa Regional Medical Center and uh, Midland Memorial Hospital. So we've also notified our outlying communities such as Andrews Crane for any assistance. We do have a uh, Midland Fire Department here that is assisting us. They've had, uh, got several units that are assisting, that are uh, provided to us to assist, assist us with any, uh, any, anything that comes up at this point. Okay, I, I just want to confirm. So this is a traffic stop gone wrong with DPS uh, somewhere in Midland. Where is it that all 21 people were shot? Were they shot at the Synergy uh, right there off of 191? Is that where the majority of it happened? Ma'am, I do not know. I do not know that as I'm not law enforcement, but all I can tell you is that we've had several casualties that we've transported. Police chief or, uh, the DPS. 
About how many units responded from your department? We had several of our units. We, uh, we to the point to where we had a call for Midland Fire Department to assist us with some of our EMS runs out here.